Yo guys, what is up today? We are talking about, we're talking about one setting, one setting that can change everything for you. I wish all racing games had this setting, but unfortunately they don't. iRacing does, other Sims do as well. Most like arcade games like NASCAR heats and stuff like that, they don't. But I think they should add it. Future racing games need to have this setting. We are gonna discuss it in this video and it might not make some of you happy to change it because, well, we're, we're gonna get into it. So you know what? Let's just roll that intro. All right, so let's just dive right into it. Let's get into our settings menu, and you are going to need to go to graphics and iRacing, and if any other racing games that you're in have this setting, change it, change it, especially for, for single monitor um, and, and triple monitors. You can actually need to set this as well. Now, if you own a VR headset, you're, you're in luck because you don't need to worry about this setting because it's all set for you, which is one advantage of using a VR headset. What are we talking about? We are talking about a field of view so go into your graphic setting go to monitors and let's ignore all these numbers right now i'm gonna just put in i'm gonna put in a number in here right now and i am gonna put in 110 degrees for a field of view which is what i get out of my quest 2 headset which is about 110 degrees also grab yourself a tape measure because you're gonna need this if you're on on a monitor so field of view when driving right 110 degrees Let's see what that actually looks like when we hop into our car. You are way back in the car. It's almost like a fish eye view of your car. The one thing you can't judge is, you, is your sense of speed is going to be really, really bad right now with this, with this field of view. If you were in your VR headset, this would be the correct field of view and you wouldn't have like that fish eye look with your car. So the front of the car is like so far out. We're really wide in the front. We're coming in. We can't really judge the front of the car. We're not going to be able to see like corners well and things like that. But let's let's go for a one spin around the track with this field of view. And I have absolutely, I literally have absolutely no, no feeling of this car on a single monitor of where my front of my car is. I'm not going to be able to judge corners at all. And I'm pretty sure no one is, is running 110 degrees on a single monitor. So this this is a, this is a little, like, like you can just see, like I just can't even feel my, like feel my car or see my car or anything. But this this is, um, and, and again, this is this is a little exaggerated. I'm pretty sure no one's, no one's actually running 110 degrees field of view on a single monitor. That would be, um, that would be pretty insane. But that's, that's one lap and, and you you cannot judge anything anything right now yes we can see out the side window which is wonderful but we really want to be focused on how we can drive you know on the track in front of us hence why we're gonna to have to have buttons for our right and left viewing when we are driving when we start changing our our field of view here so let's pull into the pits and now what you want to do is go back into your setting and now we're gonna, you're gonna need to take your tape measure. You're gonna need to measure. If you're using one screen, if you're using three screens, curve the flat. You're gonna measure your monitor width from one, one end to the other, and then your bezel width. So how much of that is your bezel? And then you're gonna jump down to your viewing distance, which is from your monitor to where you sit. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit compute, and we're gonna see, we just jumped to 48 degrees. Now wait till you see the difference of the view between 48 and 110. Get ready for this. You guys, you guys are going to be shocked. We are way pushed in front of the car. But now I can see the front of my car. My field of view from right to left on my monitor is going to be able to help me judge corners, judge turning, judge distance much, 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 much better. I'm also going to get a great sense of speed over what I was getting before. So while it might not look as good to you because I can't see out my mirror, right? I can't see out of my left, my left, or, or my, I can't see out my window, not my mirror. I can't see out my window, right? So I, you can't see out the right or the left right now, but, but that's, that's kind of fine. So that is the disadvantage of using a single monitor, but I can now judge my, 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 my car much, much, much better. Now, one thing you can't, see now is you is you can't see your you can't see you know your speedometer and, and your gears and and when to switch gears and things like that right so you can't see that so you're gonna have to real really judge um judge sound of, of your car because you're not looking if you're in the red zone right so you're gonna have to get used to you know judging judging sound when you when you should actually be shifting um I'm, there's probably third party software or something that that might be able to Put that up for you 
um, somewhere, but like otherwise, you know, you can't see that, right? I can't see my dashboard. So that that is that a disadvantage right now? Sure. But I can pull right up to this wall. I can come down. I know exactly where my car is on this line. I cannot judge that at all. When when I was when I was in the other car, right at 110 degrees. Unless I put my VR headset on, then 110 degrees is, you know, you feel like you're in a car. Like it's a whole nother, if you've never tried it, you, you know, I always recommend get yourself a VR headset if you can. Now this is at 45 degrees, right? So you can, you can play with this. So you can just come in here, you can go back to your graphic setting. You can change, change your monitor up to, you know, if I wanted to go, you know, 48 was a little, a little too far up. So even if I wanted to go, let's say I wanted to go like 60, right? or 55 let's go let's go like 55 so if we hit 55 now we're a little further back again we we still not seeing our dashboard we're not seeing out our left and right windows and this is where your right and left looking buttons are going to come in very handy for you so you're going to want to definitely map those to your to your wheel but this is one thing that that i just you know that with more arcade games like like heat 5 and and games like that is that you can't change this setting which is why I, I never race in a car view in those games. I'm usually, I'm usually using the, the hood view, um, which is usually the best field of view in those games. If you if you're on your, if you're looking at like your hood or something like that, um, will give you the best field of view of being able to race on the track. I, I never race where you just see your whole car because um, it's extremely hard to judge when you're you know in back of your car driving. I know a lot of people do like to drive that view, but even here at like you know. What we're at now, this is this is a good sense of view. I recommend if you haven't messed with this setting before, you know, definitely mess around with it. Hop into some practice sessions first, so you get used to it. Um, even race against AI and iRacing. racing, and then you, I, I promise you, you won't be able to go back to that that much further further view. So you know, let's just do one more, one more view just to just to mess with it a little bit and see if we went to about like let's go to like. Let's go to like 85 and see what we're looking at. We're now further back, right? I can see my dashboard. I got a little better view now. I cannot really judge the front of my car right now as good as I could before. The, the better sense of speed and the, and the better you have control of your car on that track is gonna definitely help you out. Um, and again, the first time if you're using a, a high field of view and you wanna like change that up, you might be like, oh, I can't race like this, this is horrible. But after you actually race, you're going to be like, wow, I'm actually improving my race. I actually feel much, much better now that I'm, that I'm racing like this. So let me know in the comments if you've messed around with this setting, if you've never even known about it, if you're going to mess around with it, if you've tried it, and if it improved your times, your, your feeling, um, and everything, you know, just, just let me know your experience. But my experience is it definitely improved. But once again, to avoid this whole situation, get yourself a VR headset, put it on, and enjoy 110 degrees a field of view all the way in a car where you should be sitting and you feel like you're actually in the car. But if you are racing single monitor, and I do switch back and forth sometimes, I will race single monitor just for fun. Um, sometimes I just don't want to put my headset on and things like that. So I definitely use the correct field of view, but I do mess around it a little bit. So if it's telling me 48, I might go to like 55 and stick there. And it's definitely, um, I usually don't go much above above the recommended um the recommended number. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos. I would really love if you just thumb up that video and subscribe. Lots of racing coming up. Um, casual stuff. You know, I'm a casual racing gamer. So so no professional. This is just everyday, everyday racing for everyday folks like me and you. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.